What's up, guys? Um, I uh, I gotta apologize, guys. I deleted the camping videos. I only posted one today. Guys, I'm so, so sorry. But it's my fault. I uploaded them late, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. I keep on messing up, guys. I'm so sorry, but today we're going to go... And you guys wonder how my finger is right now. It's a lot better. It's been like a week or two since that happened. No, it's been like a week since that happened, actually. We're going to go outside, and we're going to go... I'm going to go to my car and just do some stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to start it because I barely got any gas in the dang thing. That's my dad's fault because he didn't put down gas in the thing last time I drove it, so... Uh, I'm by myself, by the way. Well, my sister-in-law's home, but anyway, let's go in the garage. And I might be doing something in my truck today. I want to. Been wanting to work on the thing the whole weekend. But dad and brother hasn't been working on it with me, so, you know. All right, guys. So here's my two vehiculars, my C10, and my car. Um, I gotta get this thing cleaned. Look at it. Oh, Tag on spirals. So, guys, this is the reason why I don't want my car in the garage. Cause it's getting all dusty and stuff like that. That's the reason why I don't lock it in here. And look at my rims. Look how dirty. Look at that. I'm not gonna start it because I don't want to use any more of the gas. But anyway, yeah, look at that. It's bad, and it's bad. So. Um, I need to get gas in that one thing because dad didn't put gas in. I gotta clean this thing, guys. Look how dirty the carpet is. I've been wanting to clean it, but we gotta get the vacuum cleaned out. We gotta scrub this. I'm just that's what I hate about having a cloth interior car. I love cloth seats on the run because they're comfortable. I like leather better, of course, but. These cloth seats, I love them. They're just, they're so hard to keep clean. That's what I don't like about them. But I am going to clean that eventually. Is my door panel? No, okay. I thought my door panel was coming out for a second. But no, nope, we're good. Them door panels are sand too, so. Um, you guys know I sanded this. Um, sand a little bit on that. I don't know if I'm going to do really anything on the truck right now. And, uh, sanded this right here. Got that pretty looking. But, uh, yeah. Turns out the reason why I can't take this daggone dash out, guys, because it's actually welded in. So, I got to cut that out. But, um, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Hopefully, brother and dad work on it with me when they get home. Because you guys know I'm wanting to try to get this thing done. Two months. I don't know if it's possible, but it can happen. You never know. But anyway. Yeah. Thank gum guys. But uh I'm probably gonna shave these off right here. Cause they're kind of in bad shape right there a little bit. So I'm probably gonna shave these off, take them off, because some people do that with these old trucks. And uh probably gonna do that. I gotta take all this stuff right here off. Just these door seals because they're old. Put new ones in. 
clean it out and get all that nasty glue off. And of course, I'm not putting the gas tank right here again. I'm putting it back there. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna put a. I mean, Dad's gonna, me and Bro's gonna put a metal metal plate over that thing and weld it shut. So yeah. And of course, we gotta get new tires for the thing whenever it gets done. So there you guys. But like I said, guys, all right? There's my engine. Right, there's my motor. Hopefully, gonna be working on that pretty soon. Hopefully, gotta get acid dipped. Gotta get cleaned up. My uh, header, my headers. Well, not my headers. But I don't have a, not my headers. My heads. They're where are they at? They're back here somewhere. Um, one of those intake manifolds are mine. My heads. My dash is right here. My new one. My heads are back right there there's one of them the other one's back there but uh and this right here is much 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 brother stuff that goes to his truck and some he had a also he had a c30 dump truck also that's a c10 emblem right there i might put one of these on, on my truck i don't know on the fenders i might i don't know but uh yeah I'm not sure yet, but there's my dash. Like I said, guys, this thing's got only like a little bit of surface rust under it. It ain't got no bad rust. It's perfect. The only thing that's bad about it is this right here, which we're going to probably have to cut. But that's the only thing that's really bad about it. Ain't nothing really else. Just put this in place. Got to prime it, get ready to paint, put it in, and then it's good. And put the glove box in, stuff like that. But... And uh, here's my other stuff that goes in my truck. Right, here's my dash, my gauge cluster, of course. So we'll have to get that cleaned up. We're gonna have to dust that off. Just to make that get all cleaned up. We might actually, I might actually be painting it, actually. I don't know. Who knows, I might not even, I might not repaint it, but I, I would like to probably because it looks all messy. But that, that one right there is like ready to go. And that is a 67 one too guys it's ready to go all right there's my hood latches and, and stuff like that <clears throat> and my brother has got a carburetor uh, down right there which i don't think i'm gonna use because i think because they're mainly his I think they're Holly carburetors too. Which actually, my brother's got a carburetor on his C10 right now on the engine. And like I said about these doors, guys, I don't even know if I'm gonna use these because there's doors down there I can use. I'm gonna go show you that, guys, in a little bit. Now look at this. Look at this. There's already surface rust growing back on it. Look at this. And I literally just sanded this thing. There's already surface rust getting back on it. I only sanded a little bit on that one. But I'm going to go down here real quick and show you guys something. Clean down here is where the doors are. And I might be building on the truck instead of them. So there's my brother's Mustang. Which we're probably not going to be restoring because... That's a late 80s car, early 90s car, including, that's the period when cars got, you know, more wires and technology in them. Stuff I don't like to work on. Um, right here is the doors. Right here's one of them. This one right here, looks like it just needs to be sanded a little bit. There ain't nothing wrong with this door at all. It's got no rust holes at all on it. It's perfect. Got, it's just gonna have the door stuff put back in it's perfect and that one out right there is too that that one and this one is the one i want put on my truck now that one that one looked like it came off of a um off of a blazer they made it in, i'm guessing yeah definitely they made this into like a blazer which i don't like 
because I don't like when people cut on them doors. Now that one back there I'm not going to use because that one's probably in bad shape. But that one out there and this one is perfect. I don't think it's got no rust holes and clean the, the door with the door float folders go out and they're not ain't nothing wrong with them at all like at all so anyway if you guys wonder what this is this is um i can't remember what year i think this is an 85 model this is an 85 gmc sierra um 3500 yeah 3500 and hits in pretty bad shape. And we're gonna eventually restore this. We brought this thing home about maybe uh, I'd say probably about five years ago. And it's mine. Yeah, I mean, it's not mine. It's my papa's, my dad's, and my brother's truck. It's about having a new floor pan put in it. Probably a brand new seat. The seat folds back, by the way. It's got a foldable seat stick shift all right let's go back here there's the front end i want to show you what kind of engine get, gets in it but the last time i opened up and closed it it's hard it's, it's hard there i'll get open there we go right down the windows we got manual windows the best kind of windows you don't know power power shit yeah there's a wasp right there's a wasp in here he barely, i better let him fly out over here, retard. Why don't you fly out over here? Yeah, he's got a nest in there. I, better, I think he's got a nest. I don't see how waspers get in this thing. Yeah, fly out. Fly out. Yeah, there you go. Anyway. I'm just checking to make sure there's no spot in I remember I came here one day and there's a Grand Day long leg. I know they can't bite you, but still, I'm scared of them. I don't like spiders at all, guys. All right. So over there's, over there's his nest. It's just a little one, so I should be fine, hopefully. I come down here sometimes and I play with this thing. But anyway, it's got the uh, stock factory steering wheel. I broke this off, by the way. <laughs> So it's in pretty bad shape. It's the three speed. Um, uh, it's got these little floor vents, which I really like, which I have in my truck, but I'm gonna turn those into speakers. Cooling guys, and these old vehicles, all you need for air conditioning is just these. That's all you need, baby. You don't need no air conditioning in trucks like these. Trust me. And uh, well, it does, this one does have air conditioning. You can see that right there. Like I say, you don't need it. Things just good old classic, guys. Three speed. There's yeah, one, two, three. Three speed. Open right over for reverse. Which guys, I'm thinking of turning my truck into a stick to be honest, because. Um, I drove my dad's Nissan before. If you guys didn't know, if you follow my channel, it's up there, and it is a stick shift. And I did drive hit, but I only shifted it like once, and I didn't go fast enough. So, and my poppy, you guys know that my poppy's got a '65 Chevelle that had some stick, and I'm gonna ask him if I can drive it one day, and he said, yeah. He's gonna teach me how to drive it at the four speed. And, uh, which I seen him drive it, and I think I know he'd do it. I mean, I know you go one, two, three. Then when you're at a stop, when you stop, you go back to first. And then I know once you, like, if you're at third, if you're in third gear, say you're in third gear, you go around a corner, you go up to two. And that's how it works. But, anyway. Yeah, this is an old truck. I really do like these body styles and these GMCs and Chevrolets. There's no ashtray, it won't stay shut because, like I say, guys, things been sitting down here for a long time, almost, almost five years. So, yeah, it's hot.
hot now again. It's hot. Still, guys. I mean, like, honestly, this is kind of like it. What? When we get this thing done, I'm kind of. I told. I gave bro an idea. We need. To, I think we. I want to go with like a patinaed look. For this truck. Once we get it finished. Of course, it ain't my truck, but I like to drop it around a little bit. And of course, this steering wheel needs to be replaced back. Cause look at this thing. This thing's like in bad shape. Cracks. Honestly, put if I was, I'd probably put a factory steering wheel in here, or put like a. I can't remember what kind of steering wheel is. The kind of steering wheel I want to put in my truck. I might put that in, or maybe put an old GM 67 GMC truck in there. It don't start, like I said, guys, because of the battery hooked up. I wish it did start, though. Because, uh, let me see if I can get the hood latch open. Ah, dang it. No, I can't. I think it's stuck. I usually could get it open. But anyway. And it is a dump truck, by the way. You see that? Like I said, guys, I think this would be a good tinted truck to keep some of the rust, you know? <clears throat> I think if this has a 350 in it, I think same kind of engine my truck's got that I'm putting in my truck. Sorry. I'm eventually probably wanting to put a a four or two big block in it like how my papa my poppy's got his chevelle right now which he had a three he did have a uh, straight six in it but you guys know he done that and also uh, if i didn't tell you guys that i'm going down to the rod runs and a and um and about uh next week next weekend i'm going i'm leaving friday next friday not going to school on that Friday, by the way. <laughs> Excuse me. But anyway, I'm not going to school on that Friday. Um, and uh, that's when we're going to be leaving. Me, my poppy, my nana, we're going down there for the weekend. And I will be recording some videos for you guys if y'all want me to. If y'all want me to record some videos, I will. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm just, it's hot out here today. Anyway. I will we'll be recording down there. I'm not going to record in front of my grandparents because I don't think they want to be on video. But, um, here, by the way, um, I think these are cherry bombs, which I really do like the cherry bombs. I'm hoping these are. Dad said that these are really loud, so we're going to get those restored, get them repainted and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, you guys know. Get those redone. I mean, like I said, guys, I'm going with the, the red on this thing. Coca-Cola red. Which... <clears throat> which i'll show you guys a picture of a of a of a red satan right about hang on i'll show you guys a picture of that right about this is what probably close to what it'll look like well not really this would be close this right here hang on right here you guys see that that's close to what this truck might look like when it's done well close not completely but that's the color that it'll go with. Well, hang on a minute, guys. I'll show you. My brother's got the color over here. I'll show you, give you a better perspective. If I can find it anywhere, I can show you guys. Nah, he's got so much stuff over there. No, that's the black paint they used in my mom's car. I don't know if I can find it anywhere, guys. I can use a dipstick, a test stick to show you. Dang it, I don't know 
where we put it. But, um, <clears throat> Oh, never mind, guys. Anyway. Huh. Yeah, that's the kind of color I'm going with. And, uh, I just I love that color. You guys know red is my favorite. Another color, there's two other colors I would like to put on this truck if I didn't have, if I didn't go with the red. And that'd be like a, like a, like a, like a, like a a General Lee Dukes of Hazard orange on the like that, that or go with a um, either that or I'll go with a um, a baby blue or powder blue like that classic 50s color. I go with that, but you know I'm just probably gonna take put my favorite color on the truck. You guys know what I am. I got my favorite color on, well, this ain't my favorite red, but it's, it's red, so, you know, on my car, but the matte black hood. Now, I know Camaros, guys, and this is a rally sport. Back then, the rally sports did not come stock with this hood, which they probably did it for, for a fact, for an option, maybe, but the, this car did have another owner, so they probably painted it, which I like, so I like it matte black. But like I said, it's hard to keep clean because look at it. That's all dust. That's all like dust. It's hard to keep clean, guys. That's why I don't like about matte colors. I do like matte. Don't get me wrong, but they're hard to keep clean. It's so hard to keep clean. That's why I don't like about matte colors. I do like matte. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy with my matte hood, but I don't like that. You know, I don't like that. They're so hard to keep clean. But uh. Anyway, I just don't like that they're so hard to keep clean. Anyway, guys, I just can't wait to get this thing right here. I can't wait to get this nasty old paint off of it. I just, I can't wait till this truck looks like this. It looks down to the bare metal. Get all the nastiness off of it. Get all this rust, surface rust off of it. And make it look very very clean and then i can't i just can't wait to start painting it because i want to see what the paint turns out like and i can't wait to get all this cleaned up put back together i just can't wait to get this truck running i want to the there's two things i'm really excited about on this truck for the build i can't wait to see what the paint looks like and i can't wait to see what the engine sounds like because i want it to have like you know that I want it to really sound like American muscle. You know what I'm saying? A real gargly American muscle noise. That's what I'm wanting. I know 350s have that, but it really depends on what kind of cam you put in it. Which I'm only putting probably a decent sized cam in it. <clears throat> but also, guys, you know, this is going to be a daily driver to, to, for me, too. That car is going to be my daily. That car is going to be. That car is going to be my daily driver, and this is going to be my daily driver. Both of them. I'm going to be driving this thing to school, to football games, you know, the rod runs everywhere. I'm not going to put this on a daggone trailer and do it. I'm going to put miles on this thing. And this thing will never, ever be sold. Never. And when I get old and stuff like that, I'm going to give this truck to my son or my daughter. I'm never gonna sell this truck. This truck is gonna stay with me. Stay with me till I get old, before I die. And I'm gonna give it to my son or my daughter. Cause I'm gonna raise them to like old muscle cars. I'm not gonna raise them to like all these daggone Lamborghinis and stuff like that and these supercars. Which guys, I know some of you guys are into stuff like that. Cause I've always, I mean, guys, I'm di I'm not that kind of car guy. I'm I'm more into the old. Muscle. I'm I'm more into the old school hot rod muscle cars, and 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 some of the newer muscle cars. But you guys know I like the classic cars the best. I like old school muscle cars and trucks the best. And I'm also into the newer the newer trucks too. The newer trucks too. I'm more into the old muscle cars, the old muscle cars and trucks, and 
And I'm into some of the new muscle cars. That's one of them. That's one of the new muscle cars I like. And I'm into the new trucks. Like you guys know my dream truck. This is my dream old school truck. My dream new school truck, which if you follow me on Instagram, probably go through my YouTube channel, you guys know that my dream truck, my dream newer truck, is a 2017 or 18 or 16, 16 through 18 Chevrolet Silverado. That is my all-time dream truck. All-time newer dream truck. This is my all-time older dream truck. Oh, good God. There's a freaking spider on here. Oh, good God. Do you guys see him? Yeah, uh-uh. I think I want, I'm, uh, um, guys, I'm scared. He looks poisonous. I want to kill him. He looks poisonous. And he looks like he can jump too, so that's why I'm really scared about it. I hate spiders, guys. If you guys know me, I freaking hate spiders. Wait a minute, the hammer, the hammer. It's over there. Can I reach it? I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this little sucker. Please don't bite me. Where are you at, you motherfucker? Dang it. I didn't get him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm scared. But guys, anyway. That's my all-time dream newer truck is a 2016-18 Chevrolet Silverado. I don't like the newer ones. I don't like the 2019s. Them right there, just, I don't know, something about them I just don't like. They're, they're too futuristic looking for me. And the guys, I hate people who say, well, let's go back in the house. I'm going to come out here and work later after I do this video. Let's do this video. I'm gonna go outside. Um. Anyway, guys, let's go outside. I'm gonna lock my car. Kelsey, you in here? Kelsey? Sorry guys, I say if Kelsey's not in here, but anyway guys. Um, anyway. Um, <clears throat> I just, I hate it when people are like, like, I'm not trying to be mean to anybody out there, but if you guys seen the YouTuber Tall Guy Car Reviews, um, he makes me mad because, look, he, he's cool. I like him, but I'm not trying to, you know, start, start something, you know. He's a good guy. I like him, but I don't like his opinion about cars because he, because you guys recently, if you watch his videos all the time, when he gets in trucks and cars like if you guys seen he gets in like a 2017 or something silverados 2017 something and 18 silverados he keeps on saying who wants to be doing this in 2018 nobody's wanting to do that that in 2019 how come it's just one key in the push button start that gets on my nerves guys i hate it when people do that when they say they don't they say that they want the push button start i don't like the push button start and in cars now i hate that I like actually cranking the motor. I like doing that. That's stupid, guys. That's some things I don't like about cars now. To me, Chevrolet was trying to do that because Chevrolet likes to stay old school. They like to keep their trucks, you know, old old school. 
But the reason why people they got the probably the reason why they put that in the newer silver is because some people hated it. The push button. Tall, guys, tall guy car reviews makes me mad, to be honest. And he keeps on saying that he like and if you guys watch his 2019 Ram Rebel video, not his, but one, he said that he says he likes cars and trucks that are more futuristic. Anyway, that makes me so mad, guys. I keep saying more futuristic. But guys, that makes me so mad. I hate it when people are like that. Because some people nowadays want to get these newer newer Lamborghinis and these newer Ferraris, guys. Why do people want that? I'm look, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to hate on you guys. Look, okay, I'm not trying I mean if if you guys are into stuff like that, I'm just it it's fine. I'm just saying like guys, I'm just not into stuff like that. I grew up around the old school muscle cars. I grew up around muscle cars and trucks all my life. So that's the reason why I'm a car person. So <clears throat> I just don't get it, guys. I've always liked the old school muscle cars the best. Because I we've had them through my family, you know. Not just like we had C10s through my family, because I had I have one, my brother's got two, and my brother had a C30, and my papal had my poppy had like I can't tell you how many. Just not had C tens out throughout my family. That's the reason why I have a C ten. You know, it's just it's my favorite truck. It's my favorite old school truck. But guys, it's what I don't get. People want more futuristic stuff, and that's just stupid to me. I don't want all that futuristic bullshit. I just think it's stupid. I mean, cars like mine. I like my car. My car isn't too futuristic. You know, some of the the new muscle cars. They got a bunch of technology crap in it, but still, they're not they're not like Lamborghinis and stuff like that. They don't have a bunch of, you know, futuristic like 2000 2050 looking bull crap in it. So, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, that's just like guys, I like the newer Camaros. I don't like the 2019s. I like the newer Camaros. I like the newer which I grew up with around the newer Camaros and the old ones. I don't like the newer Mustangs. I like the old ones. I love the newer Challengers, but I do like the old ones better. But you know what I'm saying? I like the char the new Chargers, but I like the old ones better. You know what I'm saying? And they made so much muscle cars now that, you know, they made so much cars now that ain't even muscle cars anymore. Like the, the Chevrolet Malibu, that's not a muscle car anymore. No the Impala, that's not a muscle car anymore. No the uh, Dodge Dart, that's not a muscle car anymore. No you know what I'm saying? And they're making the Corvette now, the mid-engine Corvette, look like it's a daggone Ferrari, and I don't like that at all. Like, you guys get what I'm saying? I just don't like all that futuristic. You know? I'd rather drive an old-school muscle car than, you know, I'd rather drive an older car, or I'd rather drive a muscle car than anything. You know what I'm saying? But, guys... In the future, and sometime probably around my senior year, I'm going to try to save up and buy me a new truck. I'm going to try to save up and buy me, like, probably a 2017 Silverado, but it's, it'll be back the basic package. It'll have a V8 in it, but it's going to have, like, you know, a basic package. Like, I want to buy, or 2010 um, Silverado. I just want, I want a bigger truck one day that I can drive and, and haul stuff on. I'm saying that way I can have a... Sports car, old. That way I can have a sports car, an old school muscle truck, or muscle car, and have a newer truck. Have a newer truck I could drive and and haul stuff in. Cause I'm gonna be hauling a little bit in my truck, not really, cause I don't want to scratch the paint and scratch the wood. But the wooden bed, you guys know, I'm gonna be going with the with the almond stained wooden bed in the truck. So yeah, but yeah. Anyway, I just don't like people like that sometimes. But anyway, guys, um, I think I'm going to get off here. Um, I'll give you guys updates on the C10. Today's Labor Day, by the way, and a happy Labor Day to all you guys. And um, I will be giving you guys updates on the C10. I will be giving you guys 
updates on everything and i probably will next time i'll see you guys will probably be sometime this week i gotta go to school tomorrow and um gotta go to school tomorrow I gotta go to school the rest of the week the next week i gotta go to school four days because friday like i said i'm gonna be getting the day off because i'm gonna be staying at home because the rod runs and you guys know i'm not gonna miss that out and so anyway guys i'm gonna get off here love you guys like that subscribe see y'all later stay stay southern see y'all later